Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 71st Miss World Live from Geo World Convention Center. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the woman who started it all. She's a fierce advocate for compassion backed by action and one of the most valuable altruists to have been on the global stage, the chairman and CEO of Miss World, Julia Morley CBE. The numerous lives she has touched never fails to speak highly of her. Julia, I request you please to join us on stage to present the Humanitarian Award. I'm going to come and get you, Julia. Give it up for Julia Morley, ladies and gentlemen. A true powerhouse, a force of nature, and the strength behind Miss World and everything it stands for. Thank you. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Julia Morley. Every year, the Miss World organization presents the Humanitarian Award to felicitate those who have actively contributed towards the greater good with utmost honesty and sincerity. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present this award to a change maker, a philanthropist, and a true visionary who has demonstrated an unwavering commitment towards the welfare and towards the welfare of the greater community. Let's have a look. Nita Mukesh Ambani, a prominent figure in both business and philanthropy, is widely recognized for her dedication to social causes and community development. As a leading entrepreneur, she makes a huge and meaningful impact in areas of education, healthcare, sports, and women empowerment. With a passion for creating positive change, in 2010 she founded the Reliance Foundation, a nonprofit organization that focuses on marginalized and vulnerable communities. Nita Ambani's philanthropic endeavors have touched the lives of more than 72 million people across India, earning her admiration and respect on a global scale. She epitomizes beauty with a purpose, something that Miss World stands for. So this year, Miss World is honored to present Mrs. Nita Mukesh Ambani, the Humanitarian Award for her indelible mark in the world of social services. Let's welcome on stage, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Humanitarian Award, Mrs. Nita Mukesh Ambani. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Nita Mukesh Ambani wins the Humanitarian Award and there could be no better person to win this honor 
than she herself. I'm sure, Julia, you would love to say a few words in her honor. Nitambani, you, you are not just loved and known so well in India. You are, in fact, known across the world for all the kindness when you help someone. You're thoughtful. You think about many, many things that other people find they need you for. And when someone calls, you're there for them. You can't change the world, but you can do your bit. And my goodness, you do so much. Thank you so much. Ma'am, the stage is all yours. Namaskar. Thank you for this honor. This honor is not just a personal achievement, but a testament to the power of compassion and service that binds us all together. Throughout my journey, I've been guided by the timeless Indian principles of Satyam, Shivam, Sundaram. <laughs> Representing truth, goodness, and beauty. Satyam embraces the truth. The pursuit of truth is a spiritual journey marked by a quest for purity, integrity, and sincerity of purpose. Shivam nurtures the divinity within. I've experienced divinity in the smiles and laughter of millions of children through the work of our Reliance Foundation. And Sundaram celebrates the beauty that surrounds us. Find joy in every moment and fill your hearts with gratitude and appreciation. Use beauty as a force for positive change. At Reliance Foundation, we are making a dedicated effort to empower every Indian, especially women, and young girls with education, healthcare, sports, livelihood, and promotion of arts and culture. I accept this award with gratitude and humility. I would like to thank Mrs. Julia Morley and the entire Miss World team and congratulations to all the young women present here today. You represent hopes, dreams, and aspirations for a better tomorrow. Let us all recommit ourselves to spreading compassion and love for a brighter and kinder future. I firmly believe that women will play the most important role in making the world a better place. This century, belongs to women. For what women cannot do, cannot be done. Thank you, dhanyavad, good luck and God bless. Uh, Mrs. Morley, may I take a beat? My apologies. In all the excitement of honoring Mrs. Nita Mukeshambani, we forgot that we have a special message for the both of you. We have a special message for you and Mrs. Julia Morley from a former Miss World whom we all know and love dearly, Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Let's have a look. Purpose, a word that has always held a lot of meaning for me because of the experiences I have had personally. Growing up, I watched my mom, Dr. Madhu Chopra, and my dad not only carry out their duties as doctors in the Indian Army, provide for us, but also use their knowledge, position, talents to help those in need. I remember the countless hours my brother and I tagging along 
when they would use their days off to help those who did not have access to proper medical care. Now I've been very fortunate to continue my life's journey surrounded by women who have redefined the absolute essence of womanhood. Their power, their beauty, and their ability to change the world. And one of them is right here who I must take a moment to acknowledge. It is the indomitable Mrs. Julia Morley. In the year 2000, when I had the opportunity to not just participate, but be crowned Miss World, I was introduced to the idea of beauty with a purpose, an initiative by Mrs. Morley, who reminded us that the title of Miss World wasn't just about looking good. It was about using the platform to challenge our inner duty and to channel it. It taught the 18 year old me that we only make a difference when we walk the walk and talk the talk from the get go. So please give a round of applause to this incredible woman. I've had the honor and privilege of knowing the phenomenal Mrs. Neeta Ambani for a few years now. She is someone who I admire and respect for everything she does. I have witnessed what happens behind the scenes and I have witnessed firsthand her passion, commitment, and eye for detail in everything that she does. To me, Neeta Ma'am epitomizes exactly what Mrs. Morley tried to instill in our young minds back then, beauty with a purpose. Over the years, I have witnessed Neeta Ma'am's profound impact through her various endeavors. She not only is a respected educationist, philanthropist, and businesswoman, but also a staunch advocate and protector of the arts of India. With utmost dedication, she has consistently brought India's art and culture to the global stage. Neeta Ma'am wears all of these hats and more with a warm smile and so much compassion. Her journey is the embodiment of the ethos of beauty with a purpose. This evening, as we honor Neeta Ma'am, let's not just celebrate her accomplishments, but also the joy, empowerment, and growth she's brought to so many lives. She's been a true trailblazer and someone who I know is not stopping anytime soon. I, for one, cannot wait to see what else she has planned for us. Congratulations, Neeta Ma'am, truly well-deserved. To all the women, young girls out here today, and those watching across the world, I will leave you with one thought. In this crazy world that we live in today, there's no better legacy than leaving behind a world touched by love and kindness. Thank you so much and good night. Mrs. Neeta Mukesh Ambani, ladies and gentlemen, is a dear, dear friend of mine. But more than that, she's a dear friend to the artists, the performers, the craftsmen, and to all things culture and society. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ambani, and thank you, Julia Morley, for doing the honors. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give them a huge hand once again. All right, it's now time for a short break. And after the break, our top four will enter a crucial round. I'm excited. Stay tuned, everyone.